Good evening, everyone. Christian Karaswitz here. Tonight, I wanted to talk about privacy settings. And with that, we're going to cover five privacy settings that every Facebook user should know. And the reason I came up with this topic was because I've had a lot of people ask me lately, well, I don't want certain people to be able to see my friends or, you know, I'm just not, so I'm not going to, I'm just not going to friend them and that sort of stuff. And I got to say right now, I mean, that's great that you don't want that to happen, but at the same time, social networking, you know, is about building and connecting with people and, you know, increasing your opportunities to connect and network with others, people you may not know. And so you know, by turning those kinds of things off, you somewhat limit yourself. So to get started, let's cover five basic privacy settings. And you may already know some of these. Um, if you don't, uh, please take a moment and check these settings on your own accounts. Because, you know, while Facebook does um, turn on privacy settings for most for users, um, some people may have turned them off by now. Some people may have changed the setting, etc. So to get started, five privacy settings on Facebook. Item number one. We're going to talk about the Facebook friends list. You know, that was the one thing I said, you know, people don't want other people to see their friends list. And so here's what you can do. You can go into Facebook and you can click on account, privacy preferences, and we can go to the section that says view settings. And if you can see here, this is pretty hard to see, but if you click view settings in the connect on Facebook section, there is a section called see your friends list. And so what this basically does is it allows you to limit this list. Um, you can limit it to, you know, just the people that you're friends with. You can go into the custom setting at the bottom here, and you can go in and restrict that to certain people. Um, again, if you've got a lot of people you want to restrict from a friends list, uh, I would recommend creating a list yourself and putting those friends in that list and then blocking that list through the friends list. Okay. So um, doing this is really simple. You know, just go in here, you hit, you know, friends only, friends since, and now only people you're friends with will be able to see your friends list. Um, so that takes me to the second privacy setting. And this one is um, surrounded, it, it ties into the, you know, Facebook photos. And, you know, these photos, I don't really care if somebody sees these, but let's just say you were on, you know, say it was a family vacation um, or it was, you know, Thanksgiving with your family. And you didn't want people, you wanted to share these on Facebook, but you didn't want certain people to have access to them. You know, you didn't want like your close friends, or maybe you told somebody, hey, I'm not gonna be in town, but you know, you had some photos you put up. So in this case, I have uploaded some photos to Facebook and there's a setting in the edit album section here where I can go in and again, you're gonna see the same thing over and over again, privacy settings. I can customize this to where only my friends can see it, but then I can also go in and click customize. And in this case, I can set up who I want to be blocked on this. So for instance, um, I can add a network, I can add certain people. Uh, and doing this, basically these people will not have access to uh, view these photos. In this case, it'll actually block the entire album. Moving on. The third item that you wanna make sure you check on Facebook is Facebook's public search feature. And to get here, you go account, you go privacy preferences, and then once you're there, you're gonna click on this section at the bottom that says apps and websites. And we're gonna look at this section here that says public search. And basically what this does is, if I go to say Google and I type in my name, and I'm not logged into Facebook by the way, so say somebody went in and typed in Christian Crosswitz, they will see this. So we're gonna click edit settings, um, sorry, and then we can click the see preview option here and they will, this is what people will see. They will see this. They will see my link to my Facebook um, profile, but they will not see anything else. So what you can do, you know, so that's what people would see if they, if you have enabled public search set up. Now, if you don't want to be able to be found on Facebook, you want to uncheck this box that says enable public search and they won't see any preview of you whatsoever. Basically you won't exist. Okay. Now, remember, this does take time for it to kind of get out of Google's system because they probably cache this over time. But that is um, a third setting on Facebook. Moving on. 
a fourth setting. This one I think is actually really cool. Um, it might be a little annoying to some people at first, but uh, when you start to use Facebook from different devices, for instance, a laptop, an iPhone, an iPad, a tablet, you know, a desktop, say you're at the library, okay? Um, you want to know who is accessing your Facebook account if they are. And so to do this, we're basically going to go into account again. We're going to go to privacy preferences and we're going to click on apps and websites again. And once we've done this, um, we're going to go into the apps you use section. And we're not going to click on one of these. We're going to actually click on edit settings. And what this does is it not only does it allow me to, um, let me quickly run through this. It allows me to quickly turn off certain features of like who can see certain apps. In this case, the CNN social app. I have it where friends and networks can see it, but I can go over to this section on the side here called security, and I can quickly go in and I can set up Facebook to where when somebody logs into my account, I get a notification. So if I clicked here, it would show my email. Uh, actually, if I click here, it shows, for instance, when somebody accesses um, from a computer or a mobile phone that I have not ever used before. So for instance, say I go over to my friend's iPhone and I try to log into Facebook. Facebook is going to prompt me at this point when I try to log in uh, that um, I am accessing it from a different device and they ask me to actually name the device. So for example, say I bought a new tablet. I could go pick up that tablet, log into Facebook, and if I have login notifications set to email me, I will receive an email from Facebook telling me the time that somebody logged in and where they logged in from. So for instance, you might want to set one up that says um, Christian's laptop. You might want to set up one that says Christian's desktop. You might want to also um, set up a login notification, for instance, from like your phone. So it might be Christian's cell. So then this way, Facebook will recognize it and they won't prompt you again, but it's also a security setting. So you can know when somebody accessed your account. Now the last thing I wanna cover on Facebook is the all important things I share section. And to get here, again, you go account, privacy preferences, and we're gonna scroll down and we're gonna to go to this section here. And I have custom set on because I have you know things turned on where friends only can see them. Uh, friends or friends can see this one, for instance. And I'm going to click Customize Settings. And within this, I can go in and I can fine tune certain things on Facebook. So for example, if I didn't want people to see my birthday because I was getting all those birthday uh, application notifications, I could go in and turn this feature off. I could block. I could basically go into Customize and block certain people from seeing this. Um, if I had people that, you know, I didn't want to see who was in my family, I can go in and set that as well. In this case, I've got friends of friends, but you can set it to where certain people can see these items. And it's really easy to fine tune, by the way. Um, so, you know, like I said, things I share, these are a lot of different things you share. When you check in places, um, your, your religious and political views, um, you also have things you're interested in. So, Again, you want to go in and you want to set these up based on what you feel your personal preferences are. Um, everybody will have different preferences about the things they share. I strongly feel that sharing, for instance, the things I'm interested in are beneficial because now Facebook can recommend other users that have similar interests. I could also set it up to where, for instance, I might want to um, allow people to uh, see places I check into. Why is this? Because again, remember, we're talking about social networking. We're talking about being able to um, network with people we may not even know and may share a common interest with. So in this case of like checking into a place, if I check in somewhere, Facebook will notify um, my friends, for instance, where I checked in at, which is pretty cool because then, you know, hey, they might be there. Uh, think about it like this. If I didn't, if I went to a restaurant and I didn't know my friends were there because they had this feature turned off and I went and had dinner there and then the next day, um, you know, I met up with my friends and said, hey, what'd you guys do last night? And they said, oh, well, you know, we went to this restaurant called da 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 da. Well, I could have said, hey, well, you know what? I was there too. And what's their response going to be? Oh, well, you should have given, you know, you should have stopped by at the table. We would have loved to have seen you. 
You missed out an opportunity there, by the way, by having this feature off. So again, it's one of those features that, you know, everybody has a different comfort zone, but basically set things I share based on what your own personal preferences are, what you feel most comfortable sharing. Certain aspects, like I said, are more inclined to be shared, you know, like interest, but you may not want people to see your relationship or you may not want them to see who your family is. Uh, but there you have it. Those are five privacy settings that every Facebook user should know. I'd like everyone to take a moment, run through their own privacy settings, and tell me you know, um, if you have any issues with these, if you have any issues setting them up. I'd really like to hear from you. you know, if there's any other settings I may have missed here, um, feel free to um, leave me a message or you know, send me an email. Hope everyone has a great day. Thanks a lot.